Hey, this video is going to go over the topic page in opposing viewpoints. Uh, once you have browsed or searched and located a topics page, um, you'll need to choose articles off of this page. Uh, so the first thing I want to point out is at the top it says overview. This is not a good article to use for your essay. It's more like an encyclopedia entry. So we're on the vaccines topic. Um, think of this as just uh, you know, an overview of what vaccines are and the history of them. And you can certainly read that and it'll give you a good foundation of knowledge in your chosen topic. But um, to locate articles, you're gonna wanna scroll down a little bit and you'll see on the gray taskbar here, the different types of articles that you will find in this database. The viewpoints are going to be opinion pieces. And this is a good place to look if you're having trouble coming up with the research question and it'll give you some of the arguments that can be made about a topic. Academic journals will be very scholarly in nature. They are written by academics, so college professors for an audience of academics. So when you're looking at a topic like vaccines, you might find a lot of medical uh, health sciences journals that can be a little bit difficult to wade through. Uh, images will just be uh, pictures and diagrams. Magazines will be uh, some of the publications that you're more familiar with, like uh, you know, time, stuff that you'd find on the newsstand at the grocery store, uh, but also some trade publications, so things that are geared toward a particular um, occupation. Uh, viewpoints, again, are opinion pieces, so they're going to explore one side of an issue. Um, videos will be just that. They will be um, short videos, usually from news broadcasts and things like that. Uh, statistical information, reference, you typically don't use reference resources for a college level research paper. Those are things like encyclopedia entries. Audio uh, will be things like podcasts and radio broadcasts. Websites are curated websites, so these are high quality websites, but they are things that you could find through Google. Uh, infographics are going to be uh, kind of like uh, your statistical information. It's going to be information about the topic conveyed through uh, an image. And then news will be your newspaper articles. This is where you'll find your most current information will be in uh, the newspapers. And you can see each type of source is in its own little box. So as you scroll through the page, everything is clearly labeled. To access the article, you click on the title. So I'm gonna click on this infographic about COVID. Okay, so you can see an infographic is conveying information through uh, images. But whether you're on you know, an infographic or like an academic article, you will have a taskbar up here at the top. And that's where you can get your formatted citation. Okay, so there's your MLA 8th citation. Uh, also, I would like to point out when you're on the article, so this is the title, Herd Immunity in a Vaccination Game. Over here on the side, where it says Explore, you can find other articles that are on the same topic. So that can be really useful as well. Um, but what you do need to note is the articles that are pulled out here are not necessarily going to be what your topic is. So if you're writing about COVID-19, uh, the infographic and this article that I pulled up look great, but if you're just writing about um, 
you know, maybe the flu vaccine, then that's, that's not relevant. And that's when you might want to search the database, which I will cover in uh, another video on this guide.